Hi Camp Rotary, I'm Maddie. And I'm Lucas. And today we're going to be dueling. So the first thing you need when you're dueling are these cards. We just cut up an index card. Make sure you have one for yourself and the person that you're going to duel. Uh, the second thing you're going to need when you're dueling is 10 feet of area where you and your partner can duel. Make sure there's no obstructions in the area that you could trip over. Um, also, make sure you're only dueling someone that you're quarantined with to abide by social distancing. You're going to need to wear closed-toed shoes, sunscreen, bug spray, get a full eight hours of sleep, and take your vitamins the day before you duel. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get to it. The first step of the duel is to shake hands because sportsmanship is always key. Um, the point of the duel is to tag your opponent with your card before they tag you with theirs. Ready? Shake hands. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't break eye contact, but also keep your eye on the card. Oh, shoot. I got her. <laughs> oh. Okay, so as the winner sitting here with the loser, first I'm going to explain some things I did to help me win, and then Maddie's going to explain some reasons why she lost. Um, going into round three, I, I had to get the advantage, so I used the tactic Chase O'Brien used, where he puts the card behind his back, and then you don't know what hand it's coming out of, and it really, it caught, it really caught Maddie really off did. guard, got me the upper hand, and uh, what do you think you did wrong? I really think I underestimated my opponent. That's that's probably my biggest downfall. So just stay humble. All right. Bye. That's for you for life. Bye, Camp Rotary. Goodbye, Camp Rotary. <laughs>